Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how to run a voting application which uses multiple services running in different Docker containers using Docker Compose. Let us start the demo by reviewing the docker-compose.yml file. Here we have the docker-compose.yml file which is used by the voting application so to define and configure the application. So the voting application uses five different services, the voting app, result app, worker, and the readies and the Postgres services. So among the five services for the readies and the DB services, it pulls the readies and the Postgres image from the Docker Hub and start the containers. For the voting app, result app and the worker services, it build new Docker images using the Docker files available under the corresponding folders and start the containers. And it uses two different networks, front tire and back tire. So this is the Docker file used by the, for building the voting app image. So the voting app application runs in a WebSphere Liberty Docker container, the lightweight application server from IBM. So here we could see that it uses the WebSphere Liberty kernel as the base image and then the required features are installed using the install utility command. So the result app again it runs in a WebSphere Liberty Docker container. So here also you could see it is using WebSphere Liberty kernel as a base image and the necessary features like WebSocket, JDBC, JNDA are installed using the install utility command. Docker Compose app command is used to start the configurations. When the command is invoked, first it is going to create the network's front tier, back tier and then it is going to start the Postgres container by pulling the Postgres image from the Docker Hub and then it is going to pull the Redis image from the Docker Hub and start the Redis com container. These containers are started first because the other containers uses these containers. So then it is going to start build the Docker image for the worker and then it is going to start the Java container and then it is going to build the new WebSphere Liberty container with the voting app and start the container and then it is going to build the new WebSphere Liberty container with result app and start the container. Using docker compose command let us configure and start the application. First it is creating the network and starting the different containers. So the application containers that is a voting app application with your liberty and the voting app and the result app application which is running in the WebSphere liberty containers are also getting started. So the servers the default server is getting launched in both the WebSphere Liberty containers and it is monitoring for the applications and here clearly we could see both the application has been launched successfully. Now let us access the application in a web browser. 192 so here we have successfully launched the voting app application so let us cast our vote so we have casted our vote for the coke. So we could see that it has it is displaying our vote and also we have an option like if you want we can change our vote. So now let us launch the resulting application. This is running in the port number 5000. Now we can clearly see on the real time it has displayed the voting information because we are using the uh, the Postgres DB which is there in a data volume so it even has the information from the previous run of the application. Now let us change our vote and see. So we will change our vote to Pepsi. So now let us change see the result. So the result has been changed. It is Coke is 50 percentage and the Pepsi is 50 percentage. In this demo you have seen how using Docker Compose we were able to run the voting application which makes use of the multiple services running in different Docker containers. Thanks for watching the demo.